Hello everyone, today we are here in uh, Thousand Palms, going to be dropping off an RV. Uh, we just arrived on location to, uh, we already have it loaded up. I didn't record the load up, uh, but we are here at the drop off and we're gonna unload it. So we already got the PTO on and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do it. All right, first things first, we're gonna tilt the deck up just a little bit. And we're gonna pull this chain off. Loosen it enough. All right. So, come on. There we go. All right. Undo this. Chain boxes on that side. All right, so this uh, RV, since it has such a long like tail end, it, it drags on the way up. So we have to use these blocks right here to block the tires as they come up. Um, so that's why they're back here because I used them and it didn't make sense to take them all the way to the front if we uh, need them again. So we're gonna take off these rear chains and that's the reason we have it tilted up a little bit is because um, once we take these off, there'll be nothing holding it from going forward. Now keep in mind the parking brake is set, but we don't wanna trust that. Multiple fail safe. there to protect it from hitting the paint. Always want to have multiple, uh, or that's not what I want to say. You always want to take extra precaution with the RVs. The customers are very, very protective over their uh, investment, rightfully so. Quick picture. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We have one chain on there holding it. Including the parking brake, but we have one safety on. We're gonna tilt it up. We're gonna get the deck close, and then we're gonna use our blocks. All right. Let's go ahead and use our blocks now. So, what we wanna do is we wanna take these the block, we wanna line it up where the tire is pretty much gonna end up around there and then we'll take our next one put it right in line with it making a ramp so that this RV doesn't bottom out back here all right 
same spot over here. And I put it a little under so it gives the, uh, the deck a little bit less of a uh, angle. Helps out a little bit. All right, I'll take the strap up with us. Making sure the brake is going to hold. There it goes. Brake's holding. This unit does run, so that's going to help quite a bit. Bring your gloves in with you um, into these RVs or any vehicle for that matter, but especially these RVs. Leave the gloves outside. I know my boots aren't greasy or anything, so that's good. There's a car behind us, so I have to wait for them to get out of the way. What are they doing? They literally just parked right behind me. Oh Lord. Okay. Let's go tell them to get out of the way. There we go. He got the message. <laughs> open the window so we can look out. Oh, maybe it was already unlocked. Right. Okay. Start her up. Runs a little rough but not. It's still drivable. Okay. So I'm just watching right here making sure that we're pretty straight. Check, make sure we're not gonna hit the curb over here. Okay, so now, now that our back tires are off, we're gonna wanna pull those back blocks out of the way. So, because once the weight of the front axle gets onto the back blocks, it could, it might not, but it could kick these blocks um, like up into the, bumper of the RV. So as the wheel rolls back onto this one, it could kick this up. So since we don't need it, we're just gonna pull it out. Put our gloves right here on the sidewalk.
I think I'm gonna take it into their shop for them. I don't know where that guy went though. That way it's not sitting out here on the street. back here. and everything and get moving. This block here. I think I have some equipment to move for our account CNC. You've seen me move their stuff before. Um, Got to check with the office after we're done here and see where we're going. See where we're going. Pretty busy. Alex is in uh, Fontana. Darl's on his way with an RV to Redlands. So I'm the only one in town right now. Yeah.
right, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the video. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Looks like I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some equipment, so stay tuned for that video as well. Thanks.